Ooh, what's up, people? It's Mr. Brandon here, and today we have the Nectar Panorama P4, and we're going to be editing the function keys so that we can create an instrument, browse its patches, put that instrument into our rack, and then be able to browse its patches again. To do that, we're going to need to edit the F keys, which are these keys right here. And to see what they do, just hold down this F key, and then the on-screen display will show you what each one of them does. The ones that are going to be changing are Redo and Save. I chose those because redo isn't something that I use all the time, and save is something I don't mind reaching to my computer to perform because it's not that much of a workflow interruption. So to change those out, we're gonna head over to internal and then click on setup and go to control edit. Hit enter, and it's gonna bring us to this edit screen. Now to edit any of these, we need to press the key that we want to edit, so we're gonna hold down F key and then hit F3, which is undo or redo and we're going to change that using the macro editor. Now to enter this macro editor, we have to hit this middle button underneath the screen, and it'll bring up a screen on our computer, and this is the button that we're gonna be making the browse button. Let's go ahead and hit new, and then name it browse. Now we're gonna do learn, and then all at once we're gonna hit command and B, If you're on PC, that's control B. And then we are going to hit done and then click OK. Now on your screen, you could see you should see that that key has updated to browse, which it says right there. You can't really see it too great on the camera, but it does say browse. So now we're going to switch over to F11. So we're going to hit the F key and then F11. And you can see that it says save on the screen right now. We're going to switch that to be tab. So we're going to hit this macro button again. It's going to bring up the editor on our screen and we're going to go to load because there's already a tab preset. We're going to type in tab at the bottom. We'll bring it up, double click on it, and it'll already load it. Hit OK. And you can see that it is updated to tab. Now once you've left all of that macro editor, you will need to click on reason again. So it is the active window for these to work. So now we're going to create our instrument. We're going to hold down the F key to bring up that F key screen so that we can see what everything does. And now we're going to hit that F key and then F4, which is labeled click to bring up the create an instrument. Now we have our patch browser open and it's also our create an instrument window. If you don't want to use any of the patches that's on the screen, that's where our tab key comes in for use. We're gonna hit this F key and then our the button that we chose tab for and move the highlighted box over to the location and favorites. This is where we're gonna use the function keys again to navigate through this window. Hit the F keys and then use the arrows to navigate to the folder we want to use. We're going to use that folder. Once you've got to the section that you want to open, go ahead and use the F key again and hit tab, which will bring you over to the patch browser selection window. And this is where you can navigate through the patches. Uh, F7 and F8 are your up and down arrows, arrows, and you need to be holding the F key to use them. So scrolling through them, let's just go to a Kong, hit F key and then play, which is enter to get into that folder. Now we're just going to scroll through these. Once again, once you get into the folder you want, select the patch you want, hit enter, and it will load that device for you and it's ready to go. So now we already have our instrument in the rack. Now say we want to go back and change its patches. This is where we can take the F key and then hit that F3 and it'll bring up our patch browser again. I mean, once again, we can use our tab to navigate the windows, once we get to the one we want, select it again, enter it, tab over, select the folder again, and so on. Now the only bad thing with this is if you're using Kong, you can't individually load samples to a pad. Really that's the only downside to this, you will have to switch up your mouse to individually load them. But another cool thing is that once you already have your instrument selected and you just want to navigate the patches in the folder that you're previously in, when in instrument mode, you can use the data knob next to the screen to select different patches that are in that folder. So that's how you can create and browse the patches all from the Nectar Panorama P4. And if you have any questions, post a comment below and we'll try to work something out. Thank you for watching and I will catch you guys later.